I've treated a, a couple hundred patients with mold now. And so I'm beginning to see kind of the cause and effect. And it is not uncommon for water damage to precede the development of autoimmune thyroid disease. Lots mm -hmm. of autoimmune disease, but Graves and Hashimoto's often happen after people are exposed to mold toxins and water damaged buildings. And the patients who have been exposed to mold seem to be uniquely vulnerable to long COVID, right? Okay. So sometimes it's a chicken and the egg, you know, what came first, but I've just seen enough of this now that I, I'm not at all surprised to hear that, that story again.